Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia Season 6, Episode 9. And I know I keep saying this with every video that I make of this series, but my god, does this just keep getting better and better and better. Uh, we start off where we ended with the delete around, uh, getting sh shot into uh, Iwazawa, a racer. And he does something that I did not expect him to do at all. He cuts off his own freaking leg. Like, literally, he's just like, yeah, I'm not losing my powers right now. Um, slashes off his own leg. Uh, and <laughs> that's pretty much the end of it. Uh, however, in the process of cutting off his own leg, um, he doesn't look at Tomaru for a minute. Uh, so he gets all of his abilities back. Uh, luckily, uh, Todoroki is around to use his ice to put a stop to it. Um, Aizawa is pretty much down. You know, Shigaraki at this point is completely healed. He's, he's good to go. Uh, we learn that Giga is just pretty much destroying every single city and is a major issue. I mean, there you go. He's, he's even, even more massive than he was before in the first place. Um, 1A and 1B are like, you know, like, they, they, don't, they don't even think of us as an enemy because they all consider all of us too weak. You know, did we even do anything? Did the, uh, did the um, anesthesia even do anything? And the short answer to that, I'm assuming, is going to be no. And the reason I'm saying no is because anesthesia is based on size, and being that he was able to grow in size, uh, the anesthesia, most likely there wasn't enough of it. Uh, to actually take effect. Uh, he, ro he ran through the medical camps. Um, you know, a lot of people are injured there. Hawks is fine. Um, but, you know, they, they, they did all this in one shot, and they just kind of got brushed off like nothing. It's kind of, kind of ridiculous. A couple of heroes died in the process that we weren't really too familiar with. Um, but all of them are just kind of down for the count. And sad, uh, the professor is saying, you know, now you're all screwed. Uh, Giga is coming now that Tomaru woke up. Uh, there's really nothing you can do <laughs> about it at this point in time. Uh, he has regained his full powers. Uh, and Deku is actually the one that's pretty much fighting him off at this point in time, completely destroying his arms in the process. Uh, and basically he's like, you know, I have to stop him now. Um, I don't care about my arms. Uh, what's interesting, though, is uh, Tomaru's body is very similar to Deku's, being that he got all of these quirks passed down to him at once. Not everything is working as properly as it should. You know, right here, uh, you can see all these muscles of his chest just, like, ripped and tore apart, uh, and his recovery isn't working as properly as it should be working. Um, Deku recognizes this and, and goes after him with Black Whip. Uh, he gets him off the ground. Uh, he, and he, we learn that he actually has a new ability uh, called Float, I believe is what they're calling it. Um, and we actually get a little training montage in here as well, but um, pretty much they're just, you know, they're literally just going blow for blow at this point in time, chipping away at each other. Um, Endeavor lost all of his flying gear, so he can't really get up there at the moment, uh, so he's kind of stuck. So we have three people here. Uh, Uraka, Fropi, uh, and Tape Man, what, I can't remember what his name is, but basically all to help Deku control his ability. So Deku now has the float ability, so he can float around very similar to uh, Uraka, uh, jump around in the air, that's why Fropi is there, and obviously the tape for Black Whip. So All Might is using all three of them to train Deku uh, with these two new abilities. So he actually now has a third quirk. Um, I think there was how many previous users for one for all? Like seven. So theoretically, uh, he's going to get seven different uh, quirks uh, as well. You know, kind of stockpiled on top of um, one for all. Uh, Deku, not Deku, Bakugo and All Might have a little bit of a conversation um, about the previous users of one for all, and um, the, he said the descriptions of some of them didn't seem complete, meaning that they probably didn't have the quirk very long before they died. Uh, so it seems like 
there is a possibility that pretty much anybody that has one for all dies young. Um, I mean, just based on what we know from the, the past couple of users, you know, All Might's Master, uh, the Black Whip user, the original user, uh, all of them seem to have died fairly young, uh, at, at least to our knowledge. So it, it, it's something where I think Bakugo is thinking about that in the back of his head, and so is All Might is thinking about that in the back of his head, even though, you know, almost All Might's in his 40s. You, you could theoretically say that All Might is the oldest user to ever have used. Um, one for all, but that's something he's thinking about too, you know, like, what if, you know, Deku is going to die super young because of this power, because it's not compatible with his body, um, and maybe he's not going to, you know, really fully master it, and we see what's happening to him, his arms are just getting trashed, um, but uh, all, all for one, uh, yeah, all for one, all might rather, um, is basically is saying, hey, you know, it's all right, I'm, I'm going to look into this more because he's he's not a hundred percent convinced that's the case. Um, it might just be he's thinking it's just the circumstance, you know, being all for one going after uh, the one for all user. Um, and this is as I said, they're kind of just trading blows um, at this point in time. Uh, Bakugo is now devising a plan to use uh, Shoto in, in Endeavor. He's going to fly Endeavor up there. Shoto is going to heal Endeavor, cool him off as much as he can with his ice. And then uh, he's going to use his most powerful attack um, to burn up uh, Shigaraki. And that's exactly what happens in the process. Um, you know, Bakugo is, is kind of, I don't know if he's jealous or envious um, or, or kind of realizing that Deku is like, you know, the, the, the true embodiment of what All Might stood for. Um, but he was like, you know, I can't just do nothing. So he goes up there and Tomaru gets toasted. Like we're talking like burnt. Um, and then there's this little sequence uh, where we hear the voice of uh, All for One, similar to how, you know, Deku can hear uh, the voices of the past users of One for All, and he says, let me take over, um, so Tomaru may be no more, and this may be, you know, All for One again, he might be back, uh, completely taking over Sh Tomaru Shigaraki's body, and he may cease to exist, now, I don't know if that's the case, uh, or if this, this is just one of those things where, you know, it, it, it's kind of like, you know, you, you have this new power, Similar to One for All, um, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see what happens next episode. But um, he pretty much takes over. Uh, he impales Endeavor. He impales Bakugo, who pushed Deku out of the way. Um, I mean, we see here, it doesn't look like, based on where he got hit, he's definitely going to be down, but I think he'll be fine. Uh, it looks like we got a hit through the leg, two hits through the abdomen, and one through the arm, uh, but nothing directly going through, like, his heart, his vital organs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Bakugo is definitely going to be down for the count, but if you look at Midoriya, too, over here, his, his arms are gone. Um, I don't even know if, like, they're going to be able to be healed after this, um, he was kind of self-conscious of it, but he's also using his legs uh, in the air to, you know, uh, cut out the recoil. But um, I, I honestly don't know what's going to happen there. And that's pretty much where it ends. Um, we end with Tomaru all burnt up, uh, and we kind of end. I mean, look at look at Tomaru. Like he is, he's get, he, I mean, he's, he's healing, but he he took a lot of damage. But apparently, uh, he. he you know, had power enough to, to get Endeavor off of him, so he didn't completely burn up. Uh, Deku is saying, you know, he forgot himself in the face of Shigaraki. Um, and then he's healed. I mean, obviously the preview shows he's healed. But if you, if you see right here, uh, it looks like All for One uh, has, like, completely took over Shigaraki's body. Um, and it's, we see that with, uh, if I'll, I'll play a couple of seconds of it here to, to see if we show the third user of one for all, uh, or all for one. Let me see here. If we go back, there we go. There she is. Um, so it's kind of like, uh, they're, ba they're both kind of like in this interspace, inner mind realm, if you will. And now they're somehow connected through that. I mean, they were always kind of connected through that being that, uh, one all for one 
is essentially the creator of One for All. But um, who, who knows how this is going to pan out. Um, it looks like we're going to get a cool little uh, sequence here. Um, and then I, I don't know how this battle is going to end, but good God. Uh, what a hell of an episode. No solid, solid 10 out of 10. I mean, I feel like every episode I'm giving it like a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10. There's no episode this season so far that has been bad. And I mean, yeah, we have a long way to go. So, um, And it seems like we're, we're kind of nearing the end of this fight. I don't really know. Um, being that, you know, Tomaru isn't 100% with his abilities yet, Deku definitely is not 100% with his abilities, uh, so I'm not really sure where this is going. I'm, I'm assuming next episode is going to be less of a fight, uh, and more of this kind of sequence where we are at the end, where they're just kind of talking to each other, probably explaining out the powers, uh, things along those lines, realizing that they're never going to meet in the middle, um, and... Probably Tomaru, I, I don't know, I feel like he's going to get away. I don't think Tomaru's going to die here. Um, I, I, I really don't know. Either Tom, Tomaru's either going to win, uh, or he's just going to be like, all right, you know, I'm tired, I'm worn out, I need to get out of here. Um, and he and he's going to need to go get completed. You know, what I think it was like he got up to like 70 or 75%. He's not 100% completed, um, but he's close. So I mean, the, if, if they get the doctor back which I think is what Giga's doing anyway, um, then they can just fully complete him and there won't really be uh, any issues going forward. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, thoughts comments down below. Um, yeah, I, I combined two words there. <laughs> thoughts, comments, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, uh, and make sure to hit that subscribe button too on your way out. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.